whether you've had your motorhome for 10 minutes or for 10 years, finding somewhere to stay with it overnight, whether it's a campsite or a field, is something that you have to do in order to have a motorhome trip. However, that seemingly simple task can actually be really complicated, especially if you're brand new to motorhoming and you've never had to do it before. So today we're gonna to talk about how to find overnight motorhome parking places near you or near wherever you want to go and make the whole thing a lot less complicated. Hi, I'm Kat and welcome to Wandering Bird. On this channel, we help motorhome and camper van owners make the most of their time on the road. We share tips and tricks to hopefully make everything a little bit more simple. Today, we're going to be talking about finding somewhere to stay with your van overnight. Now, of course, there are a huge variety of motorhome parking places. We're assuming, of course, in this video that you're looking for a trip, not as long-term storage. That's something that we'll cover in a different video. But on this, let's just look for places that you can stay overnight. So you've got places like proper official campsites. You've got smaller campsites, CS and CL sites. You've got fields which offer approved motorhome parking, normally just in the summer, but some of them can be all year round. You've got wild camping or wild park up spaces. You've got Brit stops, or or European equivalent, there are a whole range of different places that you can stay overnight with your van. But how do you find them? That is the question. Okay, let's work through this systematically. So the first thing that you need to do, obviously, is pick an area. If you've got an event or a family gathering or something that you're going to, that's done for you. You obviously got to go near a specific point and that'll be the point that you start your search from. Of course, being motorhome and camper van owners, we know that we can go pretty much anywhere we're not talking about the C word, pretty much anywhere, certainly within the UK, and that can make it quite difficult to narrow it down, but we're not gonna cover how you narrow it down on this video. Let's assume that you have picked an area, if not as a specific place, to start your search from. And the next question to ask is, are you a member of a specific motorhome club, such as the Camping and Caravanning Club or the Caravan and Motorhoming Club, and do you want to use one of their sites? Now, you can be a club member, and not use their sites. There are plenty of other options for you. You can also be a non-member and choose to use their sites if there's space and you will pay a higher price. You don't have to be a member to use a motorhome site. You can turn up and just try it for a trip or two and see if it's right for you before you join. But that's the first question. If you are a member of a motorhome club, do you want to use their sites? Because obviously there will be a lot fewer places for you to stay. They will have provided you with either a website or an app or an online guide depending on the club and the membership package that you took out and you can use that to start searching for sites near the area that you need to be in. The next step is are you a member of a club like the ACSI which gives you reduced rates on thousands of club sites across Europe and there are a few in the UK as well. If you're staying outside of the school holidays, you can stay in the lower season. You can save quite a lot of money on campsites by staying with an ACSI card. We use it in Europe all the time and highly, highly recommend it when we can travel. Again, we're not mentioning that in this video, but if you are a member of ACSI, you might want to use one of their sites if it's in the season when you can because it'll save you some money. However, if you don't want to use a site or you're not particularly fussed whether you use a club site or not and you're not particularly fussed if you use an ACSI site or not, the world is your oyster, which sounds wonderful but can be really overwhelming. So let me talk you through the process on how we decide how we're going to stay in a certain area. I'm going to use our recent trip up to North Wales as an example here because when we went to North Wales we just knew that we wanted to be somewhere near the Velocity zip line, which we did and it was amazing. Somewhere near that zip line and somewhere near Snowdonia because we wanted to explore that. But honestly, do you know how many campsites and small sites and CS and CLs and fields are anywhere around Snowdonia? It was ridiculous. So here's the process that we worked through to narrow down the site that we ended up using. We start with one of two options. We start with either Search for Sites, which is a website and an app, and I highly, highly recommend paying, I think it's five pounds. I'm reluctant to their price in case it's changed, but I think when we bought it, it was five pounds for the year which was so worth it, and you get all the premium functions of that, definitely, definitely worth that. And that gives you everything around an area, so it gives you campsites, it gives you um, smaller sites, it gives you grit stops or pubs which allow overnight parking, because don't forget, not every pub has chosen to be a member of grit stops, so there are plenty of pubs which will allow you to come and have a drink or eat a meal in their restaurant, and it'll allow, they'll allow you to stay in their car park overnight. There are also lots of other places, like some leisure centres and some rugby clubs and hundreds of other places which will allow overnight parking if you pay a small fee, and you can find a huge range of those on search for sites so that's got everything the other place we use if we want to specifically stay at a campsite um, now that doesn't 
necessarily mean a full on all singing or dancing site. It can just be a field or a CS or a CL site. But if we want to specifically stay at a, a site, we use PitchUp, pitchup.com. And they, again, you can type in your area and it will show you all the sites within that area. What we really like about PitchUp is you can narrow it down for motorhome pitches, you can narrow it down for dogs because we travel with a dog. Um, and so obviously we need sites that will allow dogs. You can narrow it down if you want a hard standing pitch, you can narrow it down if you want electric, um, you can narrow it down for kids facilities or if you've got toilet blocks. All sorts of things, if you've got different requirements, you can narrow them all down, whereas it's not as easy. Hi. It's not as easy, we found, to narrow it down on search sites because they show everything. They're two totally different websites and they've got different functions, which is why we use both. Sure, make yourself a home dog. So then we look around the area, we decide whether we want campsites or whether we're just staying for a night before moving on. So we'd probably use something like a Brit stop or a smaller site for that. And then we literally just start looking. And I always tend to start with the reviews. I find reviews are really helpful, which is why when you do stay at a site, especially if it's a site that you love, please do leave a good review because it helps other people like me make a decision on whether we want to stay there or not. Then we literally just go look through the reviews. We also look for the photos, which are really helpful because we travel with a trailer most of the time. We need to make sure that we stay somewhere that's got a big enough pitch. Um, that we can have a motorhome and a trailer now. Some fields are brilliant, but of course, if it's been wet, trying to get a motorhome and a trailer onto a field is difficult. So we tend to try and find a hard standing pitch if we're taking a trailer with us. But if it's in the middle of the summer and you wanna go off on a field, go for it. Now, there are cons to both. With search for sites, you will need to contact the campsite or the place directly in order to make your booking. You can't book directly through the app or the website. Whereas on PitchUp, you can. You can make your booking directly with them. You don't pay any extra for using PitchUp. It's the same price that you would pay to the site. However, remember that the site then has to pay PitchUp a fee. So the site might actually prefer you to book directly with them. Having said that, PitchUp is such a useful website that we try and book through them when we can because without them we wouldn't have known it was them. We feel it's only fair to support their service. But there are definitely pros and cons to using both, which again, is why we use both. Hi dog. Once you've picked your site, you phone them up, hopefully they've got space when you want to go up there, and you've booked. And that's how we find motorhome parking places that are near where we are or near where we want to go. If you are a complete beginner to motorhoming, you might find our playlist, New to Motorhomes, useful. That's got loads of stuff in there about how to pack your van, how to stop rattles, the kind of gear that you need, loads of tips in there that might help you. So by all means, have a look out for that. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like more motorhome and campervanning tips, by all means, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.